What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today I'm checking out the Fox Knives Baby Core, which is a miniaturized version of the Fox Knives Core, obviously kind of similar naming convention there, designed by Jesper Fox Knives. And I apologize if I butchered that name. I think I got it pretty close. I've heard it pronounced before, so... Hopefully I'm pretty close, but if not, I do apologize. Now, for some size comparison, this is a relatively small knife, and have the Civivi Baby Banter here as well, which as you can see is pretty similar in size. The Baby Core is slightly bigger, probably has a pretty similar cutting edge actually, but slightly bigger. And that's both in length, thickness, and weight, or I guess I shouldn't say both in all, all three of those categories. Now the Baby Core does feel like a little bit more of a capable EDC knife, even though they're both kind of miniature, and I attribute that to a few things. One is this one has a flipper tab, and so that flipper tab kind of doubles as a finger guard when you're holding it, and so it makes it feel a little bit more secure. You're not going to slide up on the blade. And there's also this kind of groove for accessing the liner lock, which again just locks your finger into place. It feels a little bit more secure there. They're both a three finger grip. I'm not able to get my pinky on either of them. But this one's also a little bit thicker, which again, I feel like contributes a little bit to it feeling a little more secure in the hand. So even though they're both a three finger grip and kind of similar size, it just feels a little bit more capable than the baby banter, which might not necessarily be true, but it feels that way. So I would have a little bit more confidence in cutting with the baby core on a little bit heavier duty tasks than I would with the baby banter. Now for actual dimensions, it's 2.375 inches on the blade, 3.375 inches on the handle, and 5.75 inches overall, weighing in at 2.84 ounces. That blade stock is 0.12 inches thick, the handle is 0.54 inches thick, so I mentioned that in the baby banter, I think that one was around 0.4 inches thick, although I haven't measured it recently, just kind of going off memory there, but so this one's a good 0.1 and a half or so inches thicker and definitely feels like it. You can tell there it's a decent amount thicker. As far as the blade steel on this, you have Bowler N690. have a black stone wash. In this color combo with the red FRN and the black stone wash, this is a Blade HQ exclusive colorway, although, and it's sold out at the moment, but there are definitely other variations that are still in stock on various websites, including a titanium version on Blade HQ, I've seen a micarta version, as well as some other FRN versions that are in stock and available. The FRN has this nice kind of honeycomb pattern on it. It looks really nice. It's not really adding anything. It looks like it might be make it a little bit more grippy or something like that, but it really doesn't. You don't feel it almost at all. There's definitely a texture there, but only if you're really paying attention to it. It does have a reversible pocket clip, so tip up only, but right or left hand carry. It is a wire pocket clip, not my favorite design, but it doesn't detract, I guess, from the ergos on it. It's comfortable, it's not creating any hot spots, so not a major complaint, but aesthetically, these wire pocket clips are not my favorite. As far as deployment methods go, I've already mentioned the flipper tab, which works really, really well, but it also has a thumb hole that you can use for deployment. Spidey flicking works really well. It's easy to get your finger in there and have kind of a comfortable placement. As far as thumb flicking goes, I'll give it a shot. It's not the most comfortable. It's just kind of a weird angle. So at the normal angle, my thumb doesn't really fit in there. So I end up having to modify my grip a little bit and flicking from there. So I was able to get it on the second try. It's just not, it doesn't feel right and isn't super comfortable. So wouldn't be my preferred method of deployment, but the flipper tab and spidey flicking it worked really, really well. The, as far as branding goes, pretty minimal on the show side, just that Fox logo, which is nice. On the non-show side, you do have a little bit more branding. You have the designer mark, which just says Fox. You have the steel, which is N690CO, and Maniago Italy, which is where it was made. So don't love the placement of it. Don't mind that it's branded so much, but the placement just seems kind of slopped there in the middle, which looks a little bit out of place to me. Would have preferred they tuck it away in the end or across the top of the blade, although that would mean showing when it's closed as well if they put it at the top of the blade, so maybe not. But in any event, I just feel like it's kind of slopped in the middle of the blade, so not my favorite placement. 
But overall, a really cool kind of miniature knife. It's a little bit small for me to be considered an EDC knife, but a nice secondary blade. It doesn't get as much pocket time as I feel like it should for as much as I like it. And that is probably because I think of it as more of a secondary knife. I wouldn't carry this as my primary knife, even though it's fairly capable, again, for being only a three finger grip. It feels pretty secure and very usable. It just, again, outside of my preference for EDC. So it doesn't get as much pocket time as I'd like, but I really, really do like this knife quite a bit. I do want to check out the full size core at some point. Hopefully it'll remain in stock. I got this a long time ago, actually. I've had it for probably over a year or more. Maybe even more than that, I don't know. Um, but I've had it for a long time, and so hoping that it will stay in stock. So far it has, so do plan on checking that out at some point. But let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Baby Core, and if you have the Core, if you'd recommend it, if it has kind of a similar feel and vibe to this. I would imagine that it's kind of a similar ergos, just a, on a larger scale. But definitely interested, in, again, in checking that out. And I can't remember the price point on that. I believe that one's over $100. This one, I should have mentioned earlier, but is $69.95, and that varies based on the material. So I think the micard is a little bit more expensive, not significantly, and then the titanium is a decent amount more expensive. So micard, I believe, is in like the $80 range, and the titanium, I wanna say, is in the $110, $120 range. But at $69.95, I feel like this is a pretty good deal. Again, for a comparable knife to the Baby Banter, but it feels a little bit more significant, a little bit more hefty, and again, a little bit more secure in your hand, which I think is worth kind of the trade-off of being slightly larger. But again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, hope you have a great one. Take care.